how can we integrate Ansible automation platform with Splunk? If you don't know, Splunk is the most favorite platform for service reliability engineer worldwide and actually is a great UI and dashboard for aggregate all the logs of your system and doing some analysis. So there are different ways to start our journey with Splunk. The first way is to use a Splunk Enterprise that we can download a trial of 60 days. We just need to fill out a form as usual with our business detail and in a blink of an eye you get access to this page where you can download the uh, software for Windows, Linux and Mac. I'm choosing Linux and uh, in a blink of an eye I'm going to download the file in my workstation. So this is the enterprise version that uh, actually run all the services in one uh, machine. This is the preferred way for aggregate your log in your single network. But if you are like me and uh, you are in this system that is uh, the latest uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux with uh, ARM64, you might end it up with this type of error that is intended for different architecture. As you can see, this package is not designed at the moment for ARM processor, neither the Windows or Mac version. So what we can do? Well, we can use a Splunk Cloud trial that give us 5 GB per day of uh, free access. So we just need to subscribe and wait for the registration email. In a blink of an eye, we're gonna get uh, all the credential and access the Splunk Cloud Platform. As you can see, this is like a blank canvas where you, we can uh, aggregate all our information. You might be familiar about the UI because it resembles more or less the same exact functionality that you can get from Splunk Enterprise. So for example, the search engine and all the features that makes our platform great. This is based on the latest available version, so we don't need to worry actually on maintaining, up to date and all this kind of stuff. It might be useful if uh, you are not you don't are not in a like a high regulated market that you need to comply with uh, some data protection system. You can also download the universal forwarder to send the data from directly for uh, from the most common log format to the platform. But back on the topic, Ansible Automation Platform has something already built in in the system. So we don't need actually to download any Splunk Universal Forwarder that by the way exists also for ARM64 and other platforms. So good to know. Okay, so back on the topic, Ansible Automation Platform, we just need to create one setting that is called Data Input and specifically HTTP Event Collector. So let's create a new one in the platform, let's give it a name, it could be as simple as collector or event and we can specify some other parameter but at the moment we don't need anything else. Let's decide automatically the type of source and we are good to go. We just need to submit this request and we are gonna have receive the connection token. So this value we need to copy and paste and we are ready for uh, input this value in our platform. So cool. So now we have the HTTP connector event and we can jump directly to the Ansible automation platform. Cool. Let me connect to my Ansible controller, logging in with my credential. I'm using admin because I need a super user power. Let's scroll it down the interface to the setting and in this way we can configure all the parameters in our system. Under the system there is a login settings. Cool, so I'm gonna edit this section and let me paste the name of the Splunk cloud server. Uh, if you're in a local area network you can use uh, your Splunk host name. Uh, very important, specify the port, in my case 8088 slash service slash collector slash event. This is the endpoint. 
service type is obviously Splunk, you can decide if you want a validation of HTTPS certificate and uh, having more debugging uh, of the logging capabilities. In my case, let me switch to debug because uh, I would like to have more information about my server. Here on the password, we just need to enter the token. As you can see, I'm going to showcase to you. One more thing, let me check it out if a log aggregator service is correct, and it is, and I'm good to go. Let me enable the external logging, and by saving, I'm actually enabling the service. Cool. Now, Ansible controller is ready to send the information of my log to my Splunk. Uh, we can check it out, the same type of information via the API, this is the correct endpoint, so slash API v2 settings logging. As you can see, there are the same exact information that we can see in the UI. So the log aggregator that is actually enabled. And now I'm ready to execute one job template. And this is a very simple hello world, just to create some log and sending some information to my Splunk cloud. Back on this Splunk interface, it could be either the Splunk Cloud or the Splunk Enterprise, we start receiving some messages on the HTTP event connector endpoint. This might need some time just for the processing and indexing, as, uh, as you know about the Splunk system. But sooner we get receive some graphics, and as you can see by this UI, we can see that some new events are accumulating into the event endpoint. So now we can investigate more and perform all the complicated search queries, define our trigger, and all the information that actually matter. The most important thing is that actually we integrated we. Uh, aggregate our log inside our Splunk and was super easy with Ansible Automation Platform. Great, now we can create something wonderful and powerful together. So this is, uh, this, this is everything about uh, connecting Splunk to the Ansible Automation Platform. Great, let's automate more together. Have a great and bright automation day. Yay!